who's on the track? Who's on the track? Back in the time shot radio show, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. It is Friday, payday for some people, most people. Hope y'all got y'all checks. Either way it goes, it's always time to shine on World Star Hit Radio. We got Veronica V in the building. What's good? What's up, Veronica? Nothing much, chilling. How you be? How you doing? I'm good. Today's been an exciting day so far. Has it? Quite invigorating. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Thank you so much for coming. Shout out to Lyric and Jada. Definitely. You know, the home team. Right? Yeah. That's what's up, man. <laughs> so introduce yourself, uh, Veronica, to our listeners, man. Let them know who you are, how you got started, and all that good stuff. Well, my name is Veronica V. Uh, I'm an R&B singer, songwriter, personal trainer. I, I try to do it all. Just hey. But um, <laughs> I'm originally from Chicago. I now am between Miami and Atlanta. OK. Um, and I have a new single that's coming out entitled yeah. No More Waiting. Yeah. So that's kind of what I'm down here pushing right now. Okay. Um, I used to be signed to Cash Money Records. Okay. Um, I just recently got out of that deal because it just wasn't really moving the way that I would have liked it to move. Okay. You know, so got a lot of stuff on the table right now, but I think most importantly, just looking to build my team and my movement before I go into another major situation. Got you. Okay. That is so. Something. How long have you been an artist? I mean, I started singing when I was five. Um, the five. first song I ever sang was Chinese Oliver's Smile. Ooh, yeah, my mom turned around like, what you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was in a girl group from like 13 to 15. Mm -hmm. And then my mom took me out of the group. I was like, mom, you're the worst mom ever. Right. But it ended up being like the best decision okay. ever, you know? You didn't understand the time. Yeah, I was like, you hating. What's right. up? You know, I thought I was grown and stuff, but I wasn't. <laughs> But um, as a solo artist, I've been a solo artist since I was 15. Okay. So um, I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. You know what I'm saying? So now it's kind of like I just cruise through. Like I see the BS, I just be like, well, that's what's good. He got you. He got you. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. You see right through it, right? Yeah, I'm still like, right. Hey, come on. Like everybody, especially being a female. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You hear it all. You see it all. What you're willing to do. I'm saying, trying to get this back. Do you know how many producers right. and songs I have in my email? Right. You like, really? You're like, come on. Everybody's like, I'm a home I got a studio. Really? Because I got yeah. my own studio. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. How about those apples? <laughs> <laughs> so let's reflect back to, to the cash money situation. Yeah. Like how, how did that come about? Uh we actually all recorded at the same studio in Miami at the Hit Factory. Shout out to y'all. Okay. And um basically I was like doing my thing and the owner of the Hit Factory called Slim Vadian for a meeting and like you gotta hear this girl that records here. Hmm. And at the time they only they were like mainly a hip hop label. So okay. at the time they wanted to branch out and do like R and B pop and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And they thought I would be great for their R and B, you know, department. Okay. So have records, we did our thing. In 2013, I had to record with Two Chains actually. Okay. Um, and it got released over in the UK and everything was good mm -hmm. until we got back to the States. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, where's the push? Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Cricket wireless. <laughs> like. So it was like, where yeah. is the push? You know, so, but it's all love. They're still my family. I talk to them all the time. So right. shout out to Cash Money, Young Money. It's all love. Shout out. To yeah. them. Okay, cool, man. So, because, you know, most people, that's that'd be like, you know, most people, like, dream. Like, oh, my God, I just want to be signed. So, I just, just for the, all the independent artists that, that listen, so explain that. Like, is yeah. it all cracked up what it is? It, it, is, it, it like, is if they move on your project as okay. promised. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm woman enough to say my mistake was that I didn't have my own team established. So, okay. it was literally like Veronica and Cash Money Records. Okay. Like I didn't have my own team. So I didn't have anybody there to be in their ear fighting for me on a daily basis. Okay. In terms of records, I got thousands of records. I'm a songwriter. Like it was no issue of hit records. Okay. It was an issue of there was nobody there to be like, okay, y'all said y'all was gonna do this. Okay, said, so, you know, I didn't have that. I was okay. just like, I'm gonna be submissive and just be obedient and just wait for it to happen. Right. You know, because I, I had the R and B mentality. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize at the time that you have to fight for it and go for it like you're a rapper almost. Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, okay. So what I would say to ind to independent artists or even artists that have that like hunger to get signed to a major, right. have your own team established, have right. your own movement, your own ship, hmm. and 
put your own anchor up and right. let them come to you and find you and be like, yo, I see the movement you're doing. I want to be a part of what you do. Hmm. Not like you want to be a part of what they do. Right. Because it's a whole different type of treatment. Okay. Got you. So if you come ready with your guns loaded, yeah. it's a better situation. 100%. Woo. And that's what I'm doing now. So okay. right now it's like Sony's interested, Epic. Y'all chill. Right. Let me do me. Right. Because I want it to be, if I do that this time, mm -hmm. I want it to be right. Like, I'm looking at investors and everything. I'm trying to see what's best for Veronica. Right. It's time for her to be a little selfish. Right. Because I feel like I've sang for everybody. Now it's time for you to sing for me. Exactly. That's how I feel. Okay. And that's good. So, yeah. had you have known that, what you know now, would, do you think you still would be in that situation? Have signed with him? Yeah. Yeah, I would have my own team. Right. I would have, I mean, I would have got signed over, but like, bomb. So now I can say Cash Money Records, bomb, let's go. Okay, I would have cool. ran with it. They would have been like, wait a minute. <laughs> calls for calls. <laughs> and that's so, I, I don't, you know, you never know what may happen in the future. You know what right. I'm saying? They love my new single, so mm -hmm. they, they think it's like a hit record. So right. you never know I mean, what may happen. Yeah. Thank you. I heard it. But Thank we're going to play it in a few minutes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, because I, you know, Atlanta is the melting pot. Yeah, um, definitely. You know, for independent artists, it's mm -hmm. like a million people trying to get into one door. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you have to have a, a team, like the guy who yeah. just left, you know?